In this video, I want to introduce you to the least squares regression line. And really, you kind of already know the background. It's all got to do with scatter graphs. Now, scatter graphs are things that you will have met at GCSE level. And in scatter graphs, what you usually ended up doing was when you'd plotted the data, you usually ended up uh, trying to draw a line of best fit. Okay? And any time that you did this, you did it by eye. Okay? You were doing it just trying to figure out, right, I've got about half the data this side, half the data that side. The data's going up in that kind of direction, so that's where I'm going to draw my line of best fit. Okay? And that's what you would do at GCSE level. Now, what we're going to be doing is actually calculating the correct equation of the line, the line really that best represents that data, and it's known as the least squares regression line. Let's write that down. Okay. Now, when we were dealing with scatter graphs, you were looking at two bits of information, one for the x direction and one for the y direction. Okay? And what we are going to be tending to look at is an experiment that is being performed, and we're going to try and determine whether what we are doing and what we are able to change is affecting the other and how it is affecting the other. Okay? And the two variables that we are considering are referred to as the explanatory variable and the response variable. Now, what I mean by that is if I have an experiment, a controlled experiment, then the explanatory variable is the one that I am able to affect and change. Okay? So, it might be that you're doing an experiment where... Um, you know, like one of the basic science experiments where you're looking at a beaker of water, okay, and you are putting sugar into the beaker, a certain amount of sugar into the beaker, and you are timing how long it takes to dissolve the sugar, and what you're doing is you're keeping the water at certain temperatures, okay, so you might be looking at different temperatures of the water, so you might have your Bunsen burner underneath, okay, there's my poor flame, okay, um, you might have your Bunsen burner, burner underneath, and you are putting the water at different temperatures, okay, so that the temperature of the water would be your explanatory variable, and the time that it took for the sugar to dissolve would be your response variable. So this, the actual response that you get, is known as the response variable. And traditionally, in the way that we draw it, and when we plot our graph, is that the explanatory variable goes along the bottom, and the response is on the vertical. Okay? So, that's traditionally how it is drawn. So let's say then I get my data and I plot it. Because it's an experiment, the likelihood of the data being perfect is very slim. Do I have my large ruler? No, I don't. So I'll just have to use this for the time being. Ah! Found it. There it is. Right. Okay. So, what you might then do is think about, right, if these are my x values and these are my y values, each one has an x, y coordinate, then you might find the mean of the x's and the mean of the y's and then plot that point. 
So the mean of the x's and y's might turn out to be there, for example. So this would be x bar, y bar. So there's my x bar, there's y bar. Because you would expect that if I was going to actually draw a line of best fit, or in this case my least squares regression line, it should go through the mean of the x's and the mean of the y's. It would make sense that it would go through that point. Okay, So that's how we're going to work with it. Now, how would we actually calculate the... Um, the actual equation of the line that goes through it. Now, that's a little bit more complicated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we do the actual equation of the line in the next video.